Well, this was grand. Just fought against the Imperial fleet. No, literally, that guy. I fought against the, with that guy, and he. he Warhead, my friend. Uh, we meet again. Uh, hot. Uh, hi. Uh, going, going to have to destroy you completely. Uh, no hard feelings, right? Right? No, we literally fought in one battle together, and it was really one side. Well, one guy was AFK, and, and, and the other guy left immediately as soon as he boss recurred from the battle. So I don't see why why he was so many friends. So it's not like we fought like a hard-fought battle together, fighting tooth and nail, so losing huge amounts of vessels, only surviving by the bare skin of our teeth, so that, that, that didn't happen, and so, he, in fact, I don't even think his ship fired a single shot, as I was able to just tear apart the other guy's fleet extremely easily. Just look at that lightning see, isn't that just glorious? Oh, this should be fun. One thing I do like about RTSs is the fact that really latency, at least in RTSs like this, really contributes very little to the tactical factor. At least when it's not too much. Maybe auto-deploy because I can't... I'm really terrible at managing all this. The Imperial Fleet is going to be very pissed off at me at the end of this match, you just know it. Because what's going to happen is that I'm going to specifically... Unless Chris, this guy over here is... Uh, oh, I should ready up. We ride the solar winds. Oh wow, that is... Now that is a lag. If you guys want to know what lag is, this is the lag. Well, your ships are literally barely moving or so, and they're like glitching out. It's like massively. I, a Star Destroyer is like probably from here to like here. This thing could eat a Star Destroyer. Yes, come on. Are those... Oh, I, I did not notice those until now. Alright, so you'll take a place when you was that way, and we will, by the skin of our teeth, try and get through. I keep on using that metaphor, skin of our teeth. I, I couldn't forget the origin of that saying. Look at that. That's just how cool the Eldar are. It's just, oh. Oh, look at that. We have some probes heading our way. We, we should do something about it. Ah, oh, later. Need to drink some tea. Wow, oh, Chris bought a battleship, apparently. Alright, so this is in, uh, the Imperial fleet here, this guy, and this is Chris's fleet here. I know this because the Imperial fleet brought out three light Dauntless class cruisers the last time we fought. And this time around, he... I'm guessing he probably did the exact same thing. So what I'm going to need to do is to make him readily apparent of how terrible the world is. I'm going to put this bomb down. He's going to either take evasive maneuvers, or he could, of course, get detected by it. He doesn't know what to do at this rate. It appears that he got some nice XP, actually. And we're going to put this down now. The ship is now in a bind. Well, it's slowly being torn apart by the maelstrom, he can't escape. Moving to that location. Doesn't know what caused that, he's he just terrified at this point. And my bomber's just brought another one of his ships down to half health. Literally the battle has been decided in th these opening moments. However, he's smart enough to use, um, what is it? Yes, come on. Silent running. It's good. It's good for him. Until the end. Got some more beacons coming in. 
How do we avoid those? I don't want to be detected. Uh, actually, if you could, like, magically get in. Uh, ah! Didn't make it. Oh, wait, I didn't see this one. Ah, bloody hell. Well, I've been spotted. This is f is the only fleet right now that is of any real threat. Oh no. Well, where, where did I go? The void is our home now. The Eldar stand ready. Okay, so I can actually put this this laggy match on YouTube now. Well, like, Cuz it's kind of an even fight. I'll take that for what it is. Yes, commander. We obey. I can't shoot at the battleship now because he's taking cover behind my my, my ally here, which I didn't expect. Wait, is he going to go right after me? I, I can just warp out, you know, bro. Oh wow, that was actually kind of smart. Really? Friendly fire? Swiftly. Ah, God. Destroy them. I take it back. This lightning sea is actually pretty bad. I I can't figure out what to do here. Yeah. Let me assume direct control. Yeah, let me put this right here. At your Infinity circuits active. Yeah, just hold him right there. Is that everything on your ship is on fire. You should do something about that. I hear that fire is pretty bad. Infinity circuits active. Now I don't exist. The Eldar stand ready. We ride the solar yeah, my bombers should be able to finish you off. Goodbye, Chris. Well played. Unless you're able to pull a quick silent running. Oh, or, or not. Ah, oh, Chris has a Dauntless coming directly after me. Oh my goodness, this, this latency is, is just appalling. Really? I don't think he's happy with me. He'll put this in the light in the middle. Yes, Commander. We obey. As you wish. Returning Infinity Circuit to rest. The Eldar stand ready. Uh, 
Alright, so now it's Chris out of the way, the only competent player. Now forced me to destroy Imperial Fleet. Those might hit us on vessel. Fire now. Yes, Commander. We obey. Seventy eight HP. Well, it could be worse. We ride the solar winds. Ah, uh, there's one left. I heard that. Someone fire top. Oh wow, can can you get away in time before those torpedoes hit? Two torpedoes, a direct hit, are going to really ruin his day. The void is our home now. Okay, managed to escape. Move at full speed. Yep, all dead, a great day. Yeah, orc Moving is best. Yeah, totally. You keep telling yourself that, my friend. Well, you are gone I'll finish off this guy we have found the enemy I think that was a, a widow maker said that the guy didn't use it in the actual battle outcome might have been a little more favorable for him if he did